Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to dominate on Gragas. He's not meta right now, so this video goes out to you who are Gragas enthusiasts or you just want to pick him up for whatever reason. Your best runes you can run on him right now are Predator with Cheap Shot, with Eyeball Collection, and Ingenious Hunter. Ingenious is super important for the items we're building, Hextech, Protobelt, and Hourglass, and Predator. He's gonna put them all on an extremely little cooldown. Same with the perfect timing, since uh, it's an activatable. It's gonna be our Hourglass as well. And uh, then Cosmic Insight for our mainly for the summoner spells and item haste. So everything in our rune synergizes. So we have a pretty good setup. On Gragas, you normally want to start W, then get Q, then E. And you don't want to gank before you're level 3 typically. It's super cheesy. You can put yourself really far behind if you do that. Starting W is your best bet. You normally activate it before the camp pops up. That way you can just get it out of the way, especially when you're getting a leash. You don't have to worry too much. Otherwise, you'd want to take an auto attack first. That way you could use your passive to heal. Whenever your passive is up, using an ability will heal you. And normally just start with your bot lane, get the best leash possible, and you'll end up doing a four camp clear, typically into gank and scuttle crab. If possible, you want to leave your Q for as long as possible. That way it can marinate and do max damage. After about half of the duration, it does its full damage amount. So don't stress yourself out too much about it. Ultimately, as long as you're landing your Q on monsters or champions, you're good to go. You just don't want to be missing it. Since, especially since we're going to be maxing our Q first, it is our main source of damage. And as you can see, its base damage is quite high to where you can one-shot the little golems with it. We used our W just a second early there. It would have been better to hold on to it. That way uh, we could have hit our passive two seconds sooner. I'm going to pull off here. Turn back in, pull off. We're waiting for our Q to come back up. Just like that. Bada boom. We're gonna go to our blue buff now. And then we're we're gonna probably go gank top lane. We just eat him out of his auto attack and kite him around our Q. We'll go ahead and smite blue buff. We need to go top. Like Riven, they traded one for one. Nice, we still have our smite. Ooters here though, but you can't solo him either. We gotta just chill. We'll have to go for the Gromp now. We can't solo him on Scuttle Crab. It's one bad thing about Gragas is he has most of his matchups 1v1, he'll lose, especially early game. To where if they are gonna contest you on Scuttle, you have to just give it. If that happens, then you'll end up doing a five camp clear instead of a a shorter one instead of a four camp. They didn't see me. They took the scuttle crap, so he probably feels safe. So he's playing really far up, thinking yes, yeah, scuttle vision. He's really fast though, because of that phase rush. I'm gonna wait. I was surprised Riven went in that early. Not bad. Probably want to set up a reset. I think Uder's going for double scuttle, so I'll push my way into his golems. Renekton is pretty low. We gave Riven some prio. We're gonna hit it, eat it out of its auto attack, get off a full Q charge. And uh, he just actually just flashed for us. We're gonna go over the wall. <laughs> nice, nice. There, I think we're about to run into their mid laner. Yeah, we're gonna use our W to reduce our damage we take. Hit him with a Q without really charging it, it's fine. Then I believe this bush is warded. Yeah, it is. Uder has no flash. No flash Udir. Nice. When Uder blew his flash to try to get me on his golems, he really messed, really like screwed the pooch. Uh, Riven's taking damn. We did a bit of damage to Renekton here. We have him really low to where we kind of want to kill him. We're trying to shove the wave under. Ooh, Riven's taking turret shots. Oh, I missed. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's not that's not particularly worth. But at the very least, we get the back. 
On your first back on Gragas, you want to look to get your Predator boots. Since we're taking Predator, once you have your boots, you can activate it. That's what we want. And then we're going to be building straight into our Hextech Protobelt. And you may say, well, why Protobelt? It's really strong with the Gragas to help you land, to help you get in on them to land your E, your W. You get your Q a little closer. This just works really well with your kit. Plus, since uh, Hextech Protobelt is an activatable item, the Ingenious Hunter is going to be lowering its cooldown by a crazy amount. So, just synergizes really well. You can also Q mid E. So, if you're trying to set up a flashy combo, you, you can use your Q, R, and flash while you're during your E animation. So don't don't let your E hold you back. Your E is your only ability that really works like that though. It's the same way with uh, Sejuani dash. Sejuani can do all of her stuff in the middle of her dash. We can go swing by mid. Teach that Victor a lesson. Nice. Go ahead and use my E as well. I have my Predator too, so I can really pull out something nice here. Uders doesn't seem to be here. He must have pushed out for Scuttle Crab or something. I'm gonna use my Predator, run him down, W. Syndra did use her stun a little bit early there. I'm gonna have to help her. I might, might actually be able to get I might actually be able to kill Udyr. He soaked my Your E dash on Gragas has a huge hitbox behind you So even though we were trying to E onto the victor and kill him The Udyr actually soaked it unintentionally Massive Syndra pop off Nice nice Gragas really shines in the 2v2 situations Or in team fights He's really bad for 1v1s Especially early games 2v2s though, pretty solid He's got the CC, he's got some sustain on his passive Got a little bit of everything. I'm gonna flop over. Nice. I'm gonna pull it back, let him sit on it. Very cool. Your W is AOE. So you, whenever you're using it against the golems, try to make sure you're hitting the one closest to all of them. It's got some good AOE on it. Riven's backed. I can go for Scuttle Crab. Ooter's wrong side of the map right now. Oh, Scuttle's spawning in over there. You see that little gray thing? Since I had no vision over here when he originally took it because I went over the wall, it technically uh, like was jebating me. Jebated myself. Renekton's pulling off for whatever reason. Must be going to ward. You can set up really strong smites with your Q charge and smite at the same time you release your Q, kind of like with a Lux E. You don't have to pull them together and do that, I'm just being fancy. I don't feel like you have to. It'll take more damage and you might accidentally reset your camp if you don't know what you're doing. I'm gonna go ahead and use both our refillables, we'll use our W. He's dead. We'll try to play around Syndra. You wanna play around your best lane. Syndra seems like she's really good. Udo just took Dragon, he's probably going to back. Use our Predator, we come up way behind him, W. E into him, hit him with a Q. Oh, I, my R kind of pushed him away there. Just flashed on top of his head, blue smite. Oh, Udo missed his flash. Remember, you can go over walls with... Uh, with the Gragas E. I was just running to Riven there, but I could have gone over Raptor Wall. Caitlyn could have really killed me if she wanted to there. She probably should have just killed herself to kill me there instead of trying to get away from Riven. That was a good combo. We WQ eat him. Nice, nice. Gave Riven a little bit of help. We need to pull this back. Victor's gonna be here soon. That's why I'm pulling it away from the wall. I don't want to die. Nice. Very nice. We use our W. We'd use our passive again. Pretty much every time your passive is up, if you're missing HP, you're going to want to use it. Just trying to heal up a bit. Oh, one cool thing about the jungle items when you hit Herald in the back, you get so much healing since the. 
Hellblade or Ember's Knife both give you 15% Omni Vamp. So any kind of damage you do against monsters. So Soloing Herald's even easier this season than it's ever been. You actually heal off it, which is kind of gross. They should probably change that. Just such an easy objective to take solo, since you heal off of it as any jungler now. Renekton's up under turret. Riven has full item and he's not. Nice. You can time your Q and your W to go off at the same time with your smite to do a super one. We're gonna max our E second. We're gonna use our predator boots. Hit him with our Q. We have our R, but I don't think we want to take that fight now. They reacted fast enough. They weren't really baited out by the Riven very hard. Oh, they're actually going for this. He got the phase rush speed up. He zoomed off of the Riven like crazy there. We can use our Herald on this turret for sure. I'm holding on to my passive to try to bait Udyr out. I walk up, hit him with that and tell you, Riven just squashed him. You want to use Herald whenever it's two and a quarter plates. Herald will squish it at this point. If you use it sooner than that, you'll just make it harder to take the turret in general. You do want to lay it before the 14 minute mark though, because 14 minute mark, the outer turret's plates fall off. You see the Herald just one shot it. Uh, our Predator's coming up. We could probably gank before we back here. We'll use our W early to be empowered just running away we're not gonna be able to make this work we, Ooh, what is she doing oh she's actually smurfing though she played that a lot better than I thought she was going to but to be fair my abilities were on cooldown I couldn't do much there Syndra played that pretty clean though very impressed Very nice. A lot of times with your E, you'll need to use your flash to be able to land it on the enemies. I would go and practice tool and practice that mechanic of E and then flashing on them. Make sure you just put your cursor over them as you press your flash key. That way you don't miss it. We're gonna get our Sork Shoes and then we'll build straight into our Zhonyas. Once again, items that synergize with Ingenious Hunter is what we're gonna want. Zanias is really good on uh, on uh, Gragas anyways though. It helps keep him alive. It lets him cycle his abilities. It's good on mages in general. Your predator is a fairly small circle. Look on the mini map. If, they're, if you can't see an enemy or an enemy turret within that distance, then you're not getting a speed up. We have our pro about her. They're going to run because they're going to see my... Uh... I used my W a little early there to be honest. You don't want to use it so early to where you can't even use it against them. Just right before you go in. I'm ready when Riven is. 600 on my smite. Got it. Push them all up against the wall, <laughs> holding them still. My proto belt wasn't very clean there, but we're getting quite a bit of value. I accidentally just put a point in my W. You want to max E second. That point I put in there was on accident mid fight. The red buffs up, I'll go for that. On your R, you have a lot of different use cases for it since it pushes people away from where it lands. You can push them all into a wall like that to where they essentially get stunned. Or you could use it to just pill for your backline if your backline's huge. Ash is behind though, so there's really not much to pill for there. Ultimately, I was just using my ultimate there to, to just hit as many people as possible for the damage in the CC. I wasn't really trying to do anything too crazy with it. Think of it almost like a Malphite R. You don't really want to just solo a single person out even though you can do that. It's typically not the move. Kind of want this red buff. Pull it into the bush. Go right into him. I need to put my proto belt on a different key. I keep pressing it at a weird time. Can 
Nice. <laughs> Going right over the walls. Where I'm out of their vision on this wall right here, so. Trying to run out. Nice, nice. Sentry, you got this, big boy. <laughs> I have to use my E to dodge his stuff. I'm just gonna proto belt away. Whoo! That was really close. That was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. If you're also really setting things up, you can use your R to push them into your Q. That's really good. So that way your Q can marinate and you R and push them into it. I would recommend not doing it if you don't know if their flash is up. If their flash is up and you just throw a raw a raw R at them, they're gonna flash it. Typically when you R, you want to kind of know what they have up or you want them to already be CC'd when you're using it so they can't dodge it since it, it does so much damage and is such a powerful CC. You can almost think of it like a Lux R in terms of whenever you're using your R to hit a champion with Lux, you typically want to snare them first or you want them to be like already like to where they can't move in general like if your teammates do it i'll use my predator here run him down this guy is pretty fast though i'm gonna proto belt away I'm trying to outplay this it's not easy though yeah they're just running away they don't want to fight it they know what's up they know a big big daddy gragas is gonna put a beat on him i didn't reactivate my q there rip I can just go over the wall. Walls are your best friend on Gragas for outplays or just escaping in general. I'm gonna proto belt away. I'm gonna E away. I don't think I even need to use my R. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna kill himself. Blitzcrank's just gotta catch up to him and then he's screwed. I mean, I have my uh, Predators back up. Nice. I'm gonna put it in the bush. <laughs> I had my pre I had my proto belt up too. With this build, you really need to pay attention to your items because your predator and proto belt are gonna be up all the time with ingenious hunter. It's really really funny. Riven's just doing Riven things in their base. Coo coo coo. You, you have trouble soloing dragons on Gragas, but like you saw, soloing heralds is pretty damn easy. You can use your proto belt not only to dodge stuff, you can use it to engage or clear minion waves. I'm gonna go grab that uh, herald. I'm just gonna throw my. I'm gonna E, Q at the same time, W. But I'm gonna reactivate it this time and not let the herald walk out of it. I wanna pull it out a little bit so they can't just get you as easy you're kind of putting yourself into a corner when you're standing there the thrash my team a bit i'll use my proto belt on it hextech rocket belt i guess it's not a proto belt anymore sad day this crank's making plays they're literally watching me take this i'm gonna activate my predator try to run this guy down I probably can't, but we're gonna try. We're moving pretty quick. Trying to get Victor off me. Hmm. I proto belted a little late. I could have. I could have played that a little cleaner. Oh well. We can get our full hourglass now, and uh, their team has. At this point, you'd normally go for something like Morello. They don't have that much healing, though. It's kind of only the Swain at this point. It's Phase Rush Renekton, and so none of them are really healing that much. I mean, if we get Ocean Soul, we're going to have to get the Oblivion Orb for the heal cut. But for now, I think we can just go for the Lich Bane for the AP. If you need to be more tanky, you can buy things like Dead Man's Plate, but in this game, we don't really need it. We are going to want to start to team fight though. Your 1v1s aren't ideal on Gragas. Once again, you have a lot of AoE CC and a lot of AoE in general to where your 1v1s typically aren't great since Gragas isn't meta right now. 
It's a little he's a little underpowered. If you're looking to play a more meta version of Gragas, I'd recommend something like Zac or Nunu or Sejuani. They are very strong in the meta. They can perform a little bit more consistently. But Gragas is definitely still playable. Much more playable than a champion like Trundle. That's for sure. Use my predator. I'm not gonna activate my W too early this time, hopefully. Nah, I really want this red buff though. Oh, I messed up. I was like a hundred damage off. I guess we were going in for a pick. It's kind of tough. Victor has clans. My predator's up here in 10 seconds. I think Uder's hiding in a bush. You can use your Q to check areas. I think he's just like flanking us or something. Yeah, he's laying wards. Got her. I didn't need to use my R. Just got on top of her. For the W E Q, baby. She couldn't really dodge it. The E cancels people's jumps, so. Holy guacamole, dude. That is some damage. I'm gonna have to hourglass he has ignite. That's swaying chunks, that's for sure. I have my R, but man, that was tough. Swaying so much damage. I can see why he's an S tier champion right now. I'm just gonna dash away. I don't wanna be greedy here. Waiting for my predator. Just blasted him into the wall. Did damage him as well. Oof, that hurt. <laughs> as you can see, we're pretty squishy. If you're gonna be building Gragas AP, you need to need to be positioning smart and using your items accordingly. In my Herald, almost landed my Q on her. I laid my Herald a little late there. He's not even gonna help us. We're gonna break all this without him. I used my E at a very weird time there. Nice. Still have my rocket belt. I can set up an E flash here, but I don't I don't know if we've E flashed yet this game. We haven't really had to. It's not something you want to just waste your flash on, but I messed it up there. I should have used my hourglass. So basically what you saw there was an epic fail. I technically flashed when my E ended. If I would have just flashed slightly sooner just like a tenth of a second it would have connected on uh, Swain and it would have looked really nice and then obviously I didn't use my hourglass properly there I could have maybe survived the victor or at least for that second I would have they do have a lot of uh, a lot of AP damage with the victor and the Swain but we still don't really want to build too tanky with this setup we, <laughs> I'm kind of I want a little bit of MR though I don't know why it's showing me those items. I mean, Banshees isn't bad, but we don't have the gold. Banshees actually isn't that bad against their team. Like the Swain Cloth, or they really, all their abilities are like heavy CC, like an Uder Stun or an Ecton Stun, Caitlyn Trap, Caitlyn Net, Swain CC. I think Banshees would actually be pretty good here. Let's get the dragon though. I gotta catch up in there. Riven's about to get picked. Gonna ult him back to us away from his team. Just make sure you don't ult them the wrong way. Oh my goodness. At least we got dragon, but I really didn't want to die there. That was a good Caitlyn R. I didn't think they actually had vision of me, but I guess they did. This game's really dragging on. Gragas isn't the best late game champion unless 
you're consistently landing just massive R's or E's against their team. It's tough though, because their back line's so strong. If my flash is down, it can be hard to get on top of them. I don't really need two pink words, I just need one. I'll just get, I'll go for Morello here. It's whatever. Morello's still really good on you. Their healing isn't that big, but good pick on the Caitlyn. She got greedy. I guess she thought we were on Baron. I don't know what she thought. She's really stepping up there. She's asking for it. Going down a dark alley. There's a bunch of a bunch of guys hanging out. I don't know what she's thinking. Uh, I think our red's gone. I think Uder's on it. He's being a rat. I can't even use my predator. You have to be, have vision of them. All right. Nice, that's some good predator damage. Predator plus my W plus the Lich Bane all hits that once there. Once on my W. Try to ult him back towards our team. Blue smite him. I have my Morello on him too. The healing cut. Land my slow on him. Proto belt into him, auto attack with my Lich Bane, good stuff. I'm waiting for my passive to use my W here. Should be able to get some good healing with it. Oh man, we don't have any minions. Use my Predator. Nice. Take and reduce damage as well. From my brew, I was taking 25% reduced damage from turret. It's pretty sick. For two and a half seconds, baby. Turn on our W, get our Lich Bane proc going. Get another Lich Bane proc going, set up a Q. And I think we can wrap it up from here. Nice. Hey, Gragas is a lot of fun. I, I hope they do buff him because I think he needs it. If you guys did enjoy this Gragas, carry commentary guy don't forget to like comment and subscribe my name is king sticks thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys next time and if you haven't had a chance yet come check out the stream live